Billy in New York City. How you doing, Billy? Thanks so much for calling the Marque Show. I appreciate you taking my call. Absolutely. Um, question for you. Yeah. Um, actually, in terms of the, just the divisiveness, I have uh, Biden supporting friends. I have Trump supporting friends. I have, you know, and, and obviously very few people are going to convince the other side their point of view, right? Like people are just set. But my question is, I actually worked on The Apprentice for six seasons, and they have the, they have the um, microphones on when the cameras when the cameras aren't off. Yeah. And I brought in, I do have to say, like, you know, I, I, I would be very curious if people heard the stuff that Trump said when he wasn't aware that he was on, you know, camera because the sound people, the crew can hear, mm -hmm. you know, and he's tossing out the N word, he's tossing out the K word, he's making fun of this. I mean, just the stuff he says, you wouldn't, you, you know, it makes me wonder, like, if people... And then I hear people say, well, I don't care what he says, I care what he does. Like, that's a big Trump supporter say, yeah, he's crass, yeah, he's, he's not a good guy, he's not someone I would trust, but I don't care, because he's, he's... And my question is, at a certain point, though, is there, is there anything that would make you reevaluate whatever your assessments are of him, that would make you even question the possibility that, like, when all of the military, when generals, when Navy SEALs, the McCain, I like my war heroes not captured, is there anything, I'm really asking, I'm not saying this to be divisive, you're taking my call, you're a gentleman, you're articulate, you give people their props, so there's no disrespect, it's a real question when I ask, is there anything that would make you reevaluate and say, wait a minute, Maybe this Russian, like, what would make you reassess your thoughts on Donald Trump is my question. Yeah, is, Billy, is, is there anything? It's a great question, Billy. And let me let me answer that with a question. What would make you re reassess your thoughts on Joe Biden? Is there anything that we can tell you about the guy? The fact that he used his family members to funnel money from China and funnel money from the Ukraine and God knows where else. Dude, is there anything, like, does that not bother you that this man is now a heartbeat away from being president and all he's going to do is use it as a way to auction off to the highest bidder access to the most powerful office in the in the world i mean I, again seri i'm seriously asking you a question what else can we say to help you reassess you you brought up the n-word which i've never heard donald trump used on the apprentice i've never heard recordings of that but i have heard joe biden use it on the floor of the senate you know we've heard we've heard the super predator comment we've seen what he and barack obama did to decimate african-american uh success and african-american ability to focus on and reach that american American dream we've seen the endless wars you know we've seen we've seen the really weird creepy things that joe biden has done to other men's wives and people's children the stories the stories he tells we've seen his mental decline we've seen him on several occasions say that he's running for senate when he's clearly running for president we've heard him say he doesn't know where he is what state he's in at the time we've heard all kinds of gas he said 150 million people were killed last year by gun violence he said 250 million people died of COVID-19. I mean, look, there is so much wrong with Joe Biden. I just have to ask you, Billy, what would make you, re I mean, how could you actually go into a voting booth and put a circle by that guy's name, knowing the kind of power you're giving to somebody who totally, number one, doesn't deserve it, and also is in no physical or mental state to handle it. So, you know, I'll reassess Donald Trump when you reassess Joe Biden.